Hey there, wonderful people. My name is Nastasia Thomas and welcome, 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 welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, it's going to be the chunky glitter makeup tutorial. Guys, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. If you want your friends and other people to see, just please share it with them. And don't forget guys to press the subscribe button. So if you're interested in seeing this look and seeing what I use throughout this tutorial, just keep on watching. So the main features for this video is of course the chunky glitter and I use all eight of them. I just mix them all together to get this beautiful combination right here. Really really beautiful. And the feature palette is of course the Morphe 35B palette. So I'm starting off with my eyebrows partially done and a little milk of magnesia on my face. I'm using the NYX jumbo pencil in milk to be the base for my eyeshadows I'm blending out my eyeshadow base as I'm going to go in the Morphe 35B palette for the color purplish it's a light purple pretty color Okay, so to darken the crease area a bit more, I'm going to go in with Grey Pop. It's a deeper purple. I'm going to go in with the color sky it's a beautiful bright blue color and then I'm going to use a little brunette from the Morphe 3502 palette I'm going to go back in with the same NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm going to do a high cut crease, it's not a full cut crease, it's like a semi cut crease. And then I'm going to blend out the edges just to make the transition more natural. Please check the description box down below for all the 8 colors that I mixed together to get this look. Also I didn't have any glitter glue or any glitter primer so I just used my setting spray. I sprayed it on my brush and that is what I used to get the, the glitter onto my eyelid. So for my lower lid, I'm going to go in with Sky, that's the blue color, after which I'm going to use Grey Pop, that's the deep purple color. Okay guys, so these lashes, I had a few pairs laying around, so I just stick them all together. And this is what I got. As you can see, it's really, really, really thick and very hard to stick. And I'm using the dual glue. It's the blue one. For the foundation, it's the Maybelline New York Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in Coconut. That is the number 355.
concealer it's going to be the Too Faced Born This Way concealer my current favorite and it's in butterscotch I'm going to you know fix my brows a bit as well just to get them nice and sharp oh I like them okay so whenever you see me using the beauty blender looking sponge just always keep in mind that it is damp when i'm using when i'm applying my foundation it's always damp when i'm blending in my concealer it's always damp don't use a dry beauty blender And to set all of that concealer in place, I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. So for my contour, I always use powder contour and I use the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Ebony and I contour my jawline, my cheekbone and my nose. to of course smooth that all out i'm going to use the sephora micro smoothing powder in matte tan and my current favorite highlighter it's from maybelline new york by face studio it's a metallic highlighter and it's in gold so i'm going to line my lips with the la color uh, pencil the information for that will be listed in the description box down below i'm going to put some glass on and then use the mac dolly mix blush so i'm using the nyx matte finish setting spray and as you all know i always uh, use my beauty blender and push the setting spray into my skin the beauty reborn wig the link to their page will be in the description box down below and the hair that i'm wearing so you guys can go and definitely check that out that brings us to the end of the video thank you guys so very much for watching again if you enjoyed this tutorial don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up don't be afraid to leave a comment and also don't be afraid to share guys before leaving if you're not yet subscribed please press that subscribe button Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so very much for watching. Until the next video guys, stay safe, stay warm, and just be great. Bye-bye.